Hey y'all, it's Duana here and I'm back with another sew along, but this time with View A, my pattern ME2014 of Nomi Patterns. I love this pattern. <laughs> I love the back. Have y'all seen the back of this, y'all? There's a little cutout in the back. I'm not gonna move it because I don't wanna make anything fall over, but you know, it has a beautiful back. I love it. I'm gonna put a picture of the back up here. This is such a cute pattern. I look cute in it. The major things that this pattern requires is a nine inch separating zipper for the top, a 20 inch separating zipper at the bottom. You actually might be able to get away with a seven or eight inch separating zipper for the top, just FYI. And I've only really used denim for this um, pattern, but this time I used cotton sateen and I loved it. I'm so excited. I'm going to be rocking this. I actually rocked it already um, and I wore a denim jacket with it and it looks so cute. So I highly recommend this is the cutest thing this summer, let me tell y'all. So here we go. Here's the sew along for view A of my pattern ME2014 of Nomi Patterns. Okay, let's take a look at view A of my pattern ME2014. When choosing the right size, I like to look at the finished garment measurements and that will give you a better idea of which size will fit you best. Now let's take a look at the fabric we're gonna need. You have your main and lining fabric, the interfacing, you need boning. You're also gonna need one nine inch separating zipper as well as a 20 inch separating zipper. All right, let's go look at the pattern pieces. All right, this is pattern piece number one. This is the bodice front, and you're gonna cut two of fabric and two of lining. Next, you have pattern piece number two. This is the bodice side front, and you're gonna cut two of fabric and two of lining. Next, you have pattern piece number three. This is the bodice back, and you're gonna cut two of fabric and two of lining. Pattern piece number four, this is the bodice side back, and you're gonna cut two of fabric and two of lining. This is pattern piece number five. This is the front interfacing, and you're gonna cut two of interfacing. This is pattern piece number six. This is the back interfacing, and you're gonna cut one on the full of interfacing. All right, this is pattern piece number seven. This is the skirt front, and you're gonna cut two of fabric. Okay, this is pattern piece number eight. This is the skirt side front, and you're gonna cut two of fabric. Pattern piece number nine, this is the pocket, and you're gonna cut two. Pattern piece number 10, this is the pocket facing, and you're gonna cut two of fabric and two of interfacing. This is pattern piece number 11. This is the skirt back, and you're gonna cut two of fabric. All right, this is pattern piece number 12. This is the front facing, and you're gonna cut two of fabric and two of interfacing. Pattern piece number 13, this is the upper back facing, and you're gonna cut one on the full of fabric and one on the full of interfacing. This is pattern piece number 14, this is the lower front facing, and you're gonna cut two of fabric and two of interfacing. And lastly, this is pattern piece number 15, this is the lower back facing, and you're gonna cut one on the fold and one on the fold of interfacing. Okay, so go ahead and cut these out and we're gonna get started on our dress. First, you're gonna stay stitch the front edges of bodice front between the notches. Once you have stay stitched the front bodice, you're gonna take your bodice side front and with right sides together, you're gonna pin the bodice side front to the front matching the notches. So you're gonna baste it first and then stitch and then you're gonna press the seams towards the front. So make sure it's nice and pressed and as you can see, the seams are facing the front. Okay, so now you're gonna do the same for the back. You're gonna take your bodice back and you're going to pin it to the bodice side back. You're gonna stitch the bodice side back to the bodice back and then you're going to stitch the bodice back at the center. The center back seams should be open and then you're going to flip it over on the top or on the front and then you're going to top stitch. 
You're also going to top stitch the front pieces as well. Now you're going to get your boning and I added a piece of fabric at the top so it doesn't pierce through my fabric. And I don't always do this but I do this sometimes when my fabric is a little thinner. And I'm just going to pass it through. And there are different types of boning. This is the type that I like to use. This is one that you can actually sew on top of. And I love it because it can sometimes secure into your fabric a lot better when you get to sew on top of it instead of sliding it through. It's really just a matter of personal preference. And once I'm done passing it through, I wanna make sure that there's just enough room for the seam allowance to be stitched. So I'm gonna pin the shoulder seams together. I'm gonna to make sure that I leave the sides open. Okay, so now go ahead and stitch that together. And now to prepare to add my zipper, I'm gonna fold in the front 5 eighths of an inch and I'm gonna press it. If you haven't already, mark where the seam allowance is at the bottom and you are going to use this as a guide for where you're gonna stitch your boning into the bodice. Cut off any extra pieces of boning and you're gonna make sure it's um, all the way in and then you're gonna stitch it closed. All right, so now to add the zipper, I'm gonna make sure that it's closed and I'm gonna pin it face down under the pressed edges. And the zipper is a little bit long and that's okay. I can trim that off later. Just make sure that your zipper is within the dots on the front edge. Baste stitch the zipper down and when you're done that, you're going to do the other side. If you don't have a zipper foot, you can always use your standard presser foot and that seemed to work well for me. You just gotta make sure that your needle is closer to the zipper teeth without going over the zipper teeth. Make sure it's done to both sides and let's put that away for now. So now you're gonna take your lining pieces and I actually decided to use the exact same fabric for my lining, which is fine. So you're gonna pin the front interfacing to the wrong side of the front lining sections, having the raw edges even, and you're gonna fuse in place with your iron. You're gonna do the same with your back pieces and you're going to fuse the back interfacing to the neck edge of the back lining in the same manner as the front. So the only thing that you're really doing differently is that you're not adding boning to the lining pieces. Now you can stitch the front to back lining sections at the shoulder seams. Okay, so now go ahead and stitch that together. Press under 5 eighths of an inch on the front edges of the lining as well. Once you've done that with right sides together, you're going to pin the lining to the bodice, making sure you match all the notches. There's a lot of different things that you got to make sure that you're stitching because there's some parts that are also going to leave open. So make sure you also pay attention to that. And yes, this is a lot of pinning, but you want to make sure that you do pin it together because you want it to be matched perfectly. All right, so once you're done pinning, you're gonna stitch the neck edges, the bottom, and the armhole edges. And when I start sewing those together, I actually start at the center just to make sure that my notches do not get misaligned as I go from one end to the other. Turn the bodice right sides out through the side openings and then you're going to understitch the bodice lining as far as possible and I'm going to take you to my sewing machine to do that. So when you're understitching you want to make sure that your seam is facing towards your lining and you're going to stitch on top of the lining. All right, so the next step, I actually kind of did it my own way, but it's very similar. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the sides where the zipper is and then the side seams, and you're going to basically pass it through right sides facing. So take a close look, cause it can be complicated, but it looks beautiful when you're done. So you're gonna pass it through and you're just gonna stitch 
all the way across, making sure that you match your seams. So go ahead and stitch both sides together. So you can see it a little bit here, but that bottom part, those bottom areas on the bodice is left to attach the skirt. Speaking of skirt, let's put that aside and let's get to the skirt. With right sides together, you're gonna stitch the skirt side front to the skirt front sections matching the notches. And then you're gonna press under 5 eighths of an inch on the front edges of the skirt, just like you did for the bodice. So you're gonna put that aside for now and you're gonna take out your pockets. And you wanna make sure that you um, first apply interfacing to the pocket facing. And with right sides together, you're gonna stitch the facing to the pocket sections matching the notches and the small dots. And with the curves, you can clip the curves and trim the seam. So once you stitch the pocket facing to the pocket, you're gonna also under stitch. So you're gonna go ahead and stitch those together. Here, I've already pressed under 3 fourths of an inch seam allowance on the lower and front edges of the pocket, and I based the facing in place. So now I'm gonna top stitch the pocket in place about half an inch from the pressed edge, and I'm gonna baste the raw edges together. So now I'm gonna take my pocket and on the outside, I'm gonna pin the pockets to the front matching the small dots. I'm gonna put the skirt front aside. I'm gonna go ahead and do the back. Now I'm gonna take my skirt back sections and I'm going to pin it at the center back and I'm also gonna make my darts. So I'm gonna pin my darts and I'm gonna take that to the sewing machine. So I went ahead and stitched those together and notice that I pressed my darts towards the center back and I also stay stitched the top. So when doing my darts, I always start at the raw edge of the dart, which is the larger side, and I'm gonna stitch all the way down. Once I get about an inch away from the point, I curve in so that my stitches are right at the edge of the fold. Look at that beautiful dart. With the right sides together, I'm gonna now pin my skirt front to the back at the sides, and I'm gonna stitch that together. So now it's time to attach my zipper, and I'm gonna attach the zipper in the same way that I did my bodice front. I'm gonna make sure the zipper is face down and closed under the front pressed edges. And I wanna make sure that it is still between those dots where the zipper is supposed to go. I'm going to baste it. I'm gonna do the same for my other side. I'm gonna check my zipper and make sure that it goes up and it does, yay. This is starting to look so good, I'm so excited. All right, so now we're gonna take the bodice front and we are going to attach it to the skirt. On the outside, you're gonna pin the bodice to the upper edge of the skirt at the side edges. Make sure that you are matching the large dots and now you're gonna baste it together. All right, I've already applied my interfacing to the wrong side of the front facing and back facing. And with right sides together, I'm going to stitch the side seams of the front and back facing together. I've also already edge stitched the facing. So as you can see, I used a serger and that is clean and finished. I like using sergers opposed to folding because I think sometimes it's a lot easier. So I'm gonna stitch that together. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my dress and now I'm going to apply my facings to the dress. With right sides together I'm going to pin the facing to the garment over the bodice and I'm going to clip to stay stitching if necessary. So stitch the upper edge 
and baste the lower edges of the facing. I've already interfaced my lower front facing and my lower back facing. And with right sides together, I'm gonna stitch the side seams of the facing sections. You also wanna finish the unnotched edges of your facings. I surged it, cause that's just a lot easier for me. So now that that's done, on the outside, I'm gonna pin the lower facing to the garment, matching the notches and the large dots. So once I was done pinning, I went ahead and stitched that together. Once that's stitched together, I understitched the upper and the lower facings as far as possible. You can see that right here. I also did a quick stitch on top of the facing just to hold that facing in place. To secure the zipper to the facing, I went ahead and top stitched the front one fourth inch away from the pressed edge using my normal presser foot, but you could feel free to use an adjustable zipper foot. And instead of slip stitching the edges of the facing together, I ended up using my liquid stitch because it was just a lot easier for me at the time. And close to the finished edge of the lower facing, I stitched the lower facing in place. And the dress is done. I'm gonna go ahead and zip the front bodice up so you can see, and it looks beautiful. I love it, I love the fabric, I love the dress, it is amazing. Thanks for watching, don't forget to tag me in your makes for my pattern ME2014.